Hello everyone. In this video tutorial, I will take you through the step-by-step -step process in solving the CFD problem. The CFD problem used using the fluent. This is an external flow and NACA aerofoil is made use. First, we will start from the geometry. The geometry of the complete object when it is combined with the NACA aerofoil is going to look like this. There is a fuselage and there are two wings at the bottom, two wings at the top. The objective of this analysis is to understand the effect of the effect on the drag coefficient and lift coefficient when the sweep angle of the top wing is changed. The outside volume is the domain or it is the volume of the air for which we are going to conduct the analysis. The geometry which is seen inside this air volume, this particular region is a cutout of a solid geometry from the air volume. So right now whatever is being seen is just the complete air volume without the object in it which means that there is a cutout inside. This is going to form a surfaces of an object inside the air volume which forms a resistance for the air flow through it. This geometry was imported from the data point or the aerofoil geometry has been created from the data points that were taken from the NACA website that can be taken from here NACA aerofoil NACA aerofoil generator the input parameters can be put here and the after plotting the same file can be downloaded with the uh, Excel file or the uh, DAT file for uh, importing it to the ANSYS. Once geometry was prepared, same geometry was taken to the uh, uh, ele element uh, generation. In the element generation, we can see here that The air volume was meshed with the default element size. This is how the mesh is going to look like. A fuselage, top wing and the bottom set of wing. There are named selection created over here to ease the selection process during the CFD problem solving. Inlet is the phase through which the uh, velocity of the air input can be entered. Outlet is a surface from which the air, air exits out. Wall is the surface that is outside this volume. And NACA stands for the object which is the entire surface of this airfoil. The next step was the uh, solution in which the boundary conditions, material, and uh, solution settings were defined in which the default material that was used is uh, air. The problem was uh, solved to plot the uh, residuals. This is the residual plot. In the report plots, there is a drag plot the drag coefficient that is stabilized. Similarly, the lift coefficient. If we want to plot the streamlines of the flow that can be done in the result section path lines, a new path line can be created for a velocity, especially for all these named selections and display.
this is how the velocity profile looks like for uh, the uh, specified geometry similarly the contour plot also can be taken for the pressure across the object here if we look at only the region of interest then we can select the geometry of interest so this is how the pressure distribution across the geometry is going to look like